Letting go of control actually opens up opportunities for you. Rosanna Roizen, and I am an attorney. I was a litigator after I graduated law school, and once I had my son, I decided I can't go back to doing that. And when I started to think about what it means for me to be a professional and to be the mother that I wanted to be, it really became a political choice for me to start my own law practice and to become an entrepreneur. And I believe in today, you know, today women have so many choices. We actually, you know, have achieved so much. And that making a choice to say that I want to be in control of my day, that I want to be able to decide when I want to see my son, if he's sick and I want to be able to work from home today. For me, that felt crucial. One of the things that really made that decision for me so important also was because while we have so many choices as women, there's also so many roadblocks still, not just for women, but for people who want to be a professional and who, who have families. And, you know, we, we're still one of the four countries in the world who doesn't have paid family leave. Um, we have unpaid family leave, but that's only for companies with more than 50 employees. We don't have universal preschool. We don't have affordable childcare. All of those things really made me feel that I just needed to be in charge of my day so that I can be able to be flexible and be involved with my son and not feel that I don't see him for 70 hours a week, but it's still at the same time have a career that um, allows for me to be able to grow intellectually and professionally. My advice is think about what, what your values are. And those values can transcend both for you and your family and in your work. They don't have to just be values that you have at home. They could be values that you bring to forming the business that you're going to have. And don't be afraid to take risks and to lose control. To be able to say, you know, I'm not going to have the stability that I want with a 9 to 5 job or an 8 to 8 job, but I'm going to be able to feel proud of who I am as a woman, feel proud of who I am as a professional, as a mother. And so that's, that's what I would say. Don't, don't be afraid to, to make those risks.